What more have we gleaned from these details? The seven new implementation regulations that were decided at this committee for safeguarding national security really underscore the sweeping extent of the national security law, with some critics arguing that these rules may actually be more alarming than the security law itself in terms of undermining freedom of speech and communication. So these regulations state that Hong Kong police can search premises without warrants under, quote, exceptional circumstances. Authorities can block suspects under investigation from leaving Hong Kong and freeze property belonging to suspects. Authorities can also demand information from political groups operating outside the city. They can also order internet companies to remove content or seize their equipment. Meanwhile, the UK is standing by its promise to offer a path of citizenship for almost 3 million people in Hong Kong. China has hit back hard with China's ambassador, uh, Liu Xiaoming, refusing to rule out that China could block Hong Kong citizens from leaving to take up the UK's offer, criticizing the British government for, quote, gross interference in Beijing affairs and threatening countermeasures, while also criticizing some politicians of the UK for maintaining what he called a colonial mindset. Right, Selena, and we could be seeing some more tensions with U.S. tech giants. Google, Facebook and Twitter are now saying that they will pause responding to data requests from the Hong Kong government. That's right. Google, Facebook and Twitter saying they won't process these user data requests from the Hong Kong government. That's amid concerns that this new security law could criminalize protests and restrict speech. Apple, meanwhile, says it is assessing the law and it has not received any requests for Hong Kong user data since the law kicked in last week. Now, Facebook typically works with law enforcement to follow local laws where the company operates, but it says it has paused this sharing user data with Hong Kong authorities while it conducts what it calls a human rights rights assessment. That pause applies to all Facebook property, so its core network, Instagram, and WhatsApp. But it is unclear how this is going to play out for all of these U.S. tech giants. As I mentioned earlier, according to these new details, if police suspect an electronic message may endanger national security, authorities may ask the publisher or platform to remove or restrict access to it.